No. Did you give it a red eyeball? Uh, no. You're not impressed, are you? No. Nope. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> At least you're polite about it. Okay, I've just got to sort of Harry's out now. I will come and sit. Good morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. It is Tuesday. It's just gone 10 o'clock. Emma's gone to work. Um, it's half term. It's Halloween week, so we've got lots of fun things planned. The kids and I are going to a soft play centre this afternoon to meet up with some friends and they're going to have a, a bounce around there. Um, get down, dog. And I'm just doing a little bit of housework now. I'm taking the dive to sort of potty train Ozzy. He does know what he needs to do, but it's just doing it on his terms. So I drew a pumpkin because he's very into it. And I said he could stick stickers on it, but he wants me to draw skeletons. So every time he does a wee wee in the toilet, we draw a skeleton. And when he gets three skeletons, yeah. Oh, his arm's falling off. Okay. Every time he gets three, he gets something out of this fidget box thing. So we'll see how that goes. What's happened? The skeleton's legs fallen off again. These are my old skeletons from my Halloween box. Halloween box. For my Halloween box. And I bought them over for Ozzy and the kids to play with. Box? Well, I've got the stuff out of it already. <laughs> it was Pippa's box of Halloween stuff, yeah. The um, there was a magazine, wasn't there? A spooky magazine? No, no, no. There was no, no, this no, no, spooky no, thing. No, no. Yeah. No, no. Got lots of bits in there. I had to take all the rats and, skeletons and spiders out. He wasn't keen on those. And then we've got various... Halloween crafts to do as well. There's all sorts of things in the box. Let me show you what Emma has done in here. Although it is a bit of a pigsty at the moment because the kids have been at it. Um, new flooring is down. What do we think of that? Looking good. The fireplace is in the process of being ripped out. And they're going to have a nice modern fireplace put in there with oak beams. The oak beams are going to carry on round here. And we're going to have oak beam shelving and spotlights some oak bean corner shelves over here um so yes everything's slightly in disarray still at the at the moment um but yes it's a much more manageable room now lovely new flooring that matches the other flooring what's happened to your skeleton ozzy um, He's got a poorly arm. Um, Do you want to put a Mickey Mouse? Oh, it's a Minnie Mouse one. To put Minnie Mouse plaster on. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Oh, oh, there's his medicine. That's it. Pull it out of there. Clever boy. Ow. It's got a stuck to you. There it is. Do you want to pull that bit? Oh. Hurt my arm. Hurt your finger. Right now you have to peel those bits off. That's it. it my... And then you can stick. There. Stick it on your skeleton. So it, like, um, where's it gonna go? Uh, on that arm where it's where he's got an arm missing. Oh I want to have my arm. Yeah, go for it. Um, uh, well done, Ozzy. You're a good doctor, aren't you? Yeah. Well done. Really good, Oz. Ozzy and I are going on a dog walk with Boris. Aren't we? Yeah. You got three skeletons on your chart, so you got yourself some popping candy out of your box. You look very smart today, Ozzy. We've come out without a nappy on, so I'm hoping we can get around the block without an accident. We're going up the yard, aren't we? Around the, around the other side. The weather is so nice. I'm in t-shirt. Come on then, Boris. Morning, babies. Morning, babies. Hi. <laughs> You're so cute, Boris. Baby cow. You like the baby cows? Daddy, baby cow. They're daddy's baby cows, aren't they? Yeah. Looking at the mist on the Chilterns over there. That's going to be completely different weather to down here. You jumped over that one. That's all the silage sludge. Stomping in the poo? Gross. Did you get another three skeletons on your chart? 
What does that mean you get? What does it mean you get? Yeah. Did you want a treat? Yeah. Is that the treat you want? Do you want a toy this time? No, no. What are you going to have then? You want that small popping candy? You've had popping candy. <gasps> Do you want an alien? No. No? What is that? That is slime. Oh, Do you want slime? Uh, no. What's this? Oh, this is money that you eat. Oh, look, you want a squeezy pineapple? Oh, money. Squeaky money. You want a bit of money that you eat? Yeah. Sweetie money? Yeah. Do you want a piece? Uh, yeah. Is that your treat you want, or do you want something disgusting? Look, what's this? Oh, monster with balls in his mouth. That one. You want one of those? Hot dog, sweetie? No. Tastes good? No, I don't. Don't like that. I didn't like the hot dog, did you? Yeah. What are you eating? Money. Eating money? Yeah. Pippa's eating your hot dog. I don't <laughs> Time for a cup of tea. I've put clothes away upstairs. I'm now sock speed dating. Ozzy's doing fantastically with the potty training. We will put a nappy on to go to the soft play, though. Oh, that is really sticky there. Um... This is some things we've got planned. I need to make a shopping list because we're going to be having a spooky tea on Thursday. So I need to get the stuff for that this afternoon. Sky's done the dishes um, because she wanted a treat. So I said, well, we're earning our treats today. So she did the dishes for me. And uh, yeah, we're, we're getting there. Have a look, Mouse. Yeah, at least I can get one of these out. Oh, you have got ticks behind your ears. Right, we have got them anywhere else. We'll have to get a tick. And you've got a bite. Is that a bite on your forehead? Or have you gone under a fence or something? What have you been doing? Oh, mouse. Well, he's always in the fields, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, is that nice? <laughs> What's this under your neck? Is that one under your neck as well? It's half past, well, no, it's 20 past one. Emma's on her way back from work. Um, she's had a couple of counselling sessions this morning to do. Um, and then we're grabbing the truck and we're going off to the soft play centre. I've just put Ozzy back in nappies. He's done so well this morning. Um, and while I'm waiting, the boys are both on laptops or tablets at the moment. Um, and I am just having a big clean up. We've had a lot of fun this morning. Ozzy's been playing with me with his um, skeleton stuff. I've set him up like a spooky Halloween fun tray to explore. Um, so yeah, we're gonna. I'm just gonna carry on flicking over this bathroom until Emma gets here, and then that's another job off my list. Cool, Ozzy's doing so well. He needs one more to get a third oh, treat today. Okay. You wanna have a look at your thing? Yeah, that's my list of jobs I've been doing. There, Roz. Oh, uh, done. You got one more wee wee to have, uh, done. and then you get another treat. Done. <gasps> so good. So they actually make you feel yeah, quick and safe, no chemistry, manageable, small. Can you open this? Mm -hmm. They make me feel a bit. Oh, yeah, make you feel a bit. Yeah, I don't. I can't do tips. I'll hold it back. I'll hold it in. No, sweetie, too much. It's gonna stress him out. Too so much involvement. So just so he's not used to being yeah. held quite so much. Can you wait, please. I think you do that and you pull it. Can you open that box? Oh, I know, man. Oh, I touched it. <laughs> this is a box job. No. Just no, don't do it, is it? Oh, my God. You don't seem to be doing a very good job, Mouse. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm watching it. Oh, What's up? Where is the tick remover that you had for the um for the ferrets? Got one. What's that? The tick thing. I don't know. Mouse has got mouse has got ticks. I know he has. Pip's head. I think we actually were getting them out. Pip's getting them out now, don't worry. Yeah, but you've got to make sure you get their heads off. You'll break them and then the heads stay in there and it goes all poison 
I think the heads have come off. Well, they're alive. Yeah. They're alive, though. They're alive. Yeah, obviously they're alive. They look like they've got heads, don't they? Damn. They look like they've got heads. It's really over. Best thing to put on it as a fag. Like a cigarette. Yeah. Oh, then do not touch. Do not touch them. That gets on you, you'll be in trouble. Yeah, they look like they've got heads. Okay. Okay. No. Okay. Yup. All right. Okay, Rob, this is spraying. Okay, I've got the. I've got his treatment stuff. They're coming out the bowl. Okay. I thought that. It's out the bowl. It's out the bowl. It's out of the bowl. It's out of the bowl. It's going to go out of the bowl. Just stamp it with stomach. I know. Come on. All right. Bye. Thanks. All right, Robert. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Bye. Right. Okay. There's definitely there's more. There's a six. brush in there as well. Yeah. Is that a reason? Could that help? There's one on his Let's neck, see. which is not going to be very good. To get off. How did you not notice this? Harry found them. How many? He's going to have loads everywhere. See, because it's he doesn't be around the neck, it's going to be around. Everywhere. Because I, he doesn't really come to me for affection. It's not one of those things. Right. No, but they're not just going to be around his neck. All right, Sky. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone's an expert now. Mm. <laughs> right, what is that? I can't say fleas is ever something that I've ever really had much to do with. They are oh, they really are quite gross creatures, aren't they? I'm they really are quite gross. Disgusting. Pippa, are you going to try and save them? No, I'm not. <laughs> okay, good. I'm not, I'm not, I want to kill them. I was wondering if this was an ant scenario, 0 0.2, 2.0, or whatever. Ants. Well, you don't like um, ants being squashed either, do no, you? No, I do not like ants. Oh, yes, ants too. No, these can... Oh, yeah. Someone else can kill them. I'll just remove them. Ants dead. It looks like all the... There's another small one there. Something gave it on him, do you think? Oi! Something... You're going to kiss me. Okay. Oh, at least he's showing you love and not beating you up, mate. That's a good point. Is this what you do when I'm at work, Bonesy? You get into bed? Could you uh, get out of bed, please? That's not your bed. We're about to chillax. How's your arm doing? Oh, it's still a bit broken. I'll have to take you for some gluing again, won't I? But you are going to have to get out of bed. This is not your bed. Good evening, you lovely lot. Well, today's been rather full on. Um, that's half term for you and potty training and all that jazz. Tomorrow, we're hoping the weather will be nice. We're going to go on a pumpkin hunt with my sister Jackie and the two that she nannies for. Um, and then Thursday we're doing some pumpkin carving at a farm with Ginya and her two that she looks after and then we're having a spooky Halloween tea. Um, and then I'm off for some van ventures with Dowling Keith from Camper Van Tales on Friday, so Friday to Monday. As you saw we managed to get the ticks out of Mouse. Um, he was not overly happy about the situation but it's always best to get rid of them and then we disposed of the ticks in a rather brutal manner we squished them um, but we didn't want them going on any of the other animals Rob has spent the day moving animals for our next venture so he's moved all of the sheep out of the field next to the paddock and I think we've now got the goats in with the cows in the paddock I think is what I saw earlier on um, and there is a reason for this which we will get into um, it might have something to do with our sheep shopping so yeah it all will become clear uh, when we've you know finalized our business plans um, so that is something to definitely keep an eye on anyway uh, Lee's just got in the bath I've just had a bath and when he's out of there, we're going to be watching various things. I'm not sure what we've got to watch tonight, but on the recommendation of Daryl and Keith, we are watching uh, 112263, which is a time travel thing about trying to stop the assassination of JFK. And we're also enjoying the peripheral or the peripherals, which is a bit like a darker 
sort of um, Ready Player One type setup. Also set in the future, but um, it's set in the future with time travel into the future. So we highly recommend both of those TV shows if you haven't seen them. Anyway, thanks for watching, you lovely lot, and we'll see you all tomorrow for some more Halloween fun.